Okay, let's kick it off. Number 10, um, Pokemon Creepy Black. This is the freaking, <laughs> it's the worst story ever. Not ever, but it, it's bad. It's bad. It's terrible. I hate it. I hate everything about it, but it's what brought Pokepastas to the mainstream. So it's, I, I felt obligated to put it at the shittiest spot on the list. Just that 10 that no one cares about. But I mean, if it would have been the first pasta I would have heard, I probably would have thought it was good too. So I took that into consideration. Yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. It's, it sucks in my opinion, but it's, it's, it's popular. And it's what got a lot of the stories that are featured on the list where they are, so meh. And then coming in at number 9 is Lavender Town Syndrome. I actually have a video with the original theme, so yeah, you can check that out. Anyway, uh, it's the, uh, supposedly the theme gave a bunch of kids suicide. Uh, not su it made them suicidal, it made them nauseous, it made uh, them have headaches in Japan when the Pokemon Green was very first released. But, you know, this is proven wrong, yada yada yada, blah blah blah. But, in the Pokemon Original Green Beta, they did take out the original Lavender Lavender Town track and they replace it. So the story is 80% false, but they did change it because they got complaints on about the original track. But nobody died. People probably did get headaches, but nobody died, I promise. Coming at number eight is Pokemon Tier Blue. Yes, I did do this in uh, I think it was a Pokepasta Marathon too, I think. I don't know. Can't remember anymore. But it's basically about Gary being a little prick that he is and wanting revenge, which do I blame him completely? <laughs> no. <laughs> He, just, especially at the end of like uh, the originals, he's basically told by his grandfather, "You failed me." I mean, Tear Blue kind of brought on that. You know, he's he's in a jealous rage, and he's got a he's freaking a psycho. And once you get past the sign, it the kind of cliches in it, and the yeah, once you get past that, it's not bad, not bad at all. Coming in further down the list at number seven, I think. I'm winging it. I'm not even joking. <laughs> Um, is Pokemon Dead Channel with, um, I narrated this just fairly recently, so that's, that's great. It's, uh, I have problems with it, but I love it just as much because what it has in cliches it makes up for in feels, you know, like, you want to kill this Pikachu and you want to snuggle it at the same time. Snuggle strangle. It's just, it's weird. It's probably the only Pokepasta so far that I've read that made me do that. Like, want to kill somebody and snuggle them? It's a weird feeling. It's like, it's like rhinoceroses and butterflies are just fighting in your chest and I, I don't know. I'm coming in at number six. If I get the numbers mixed up, please don't make fun of me. Is Lost Silver. I actually played the game, like the, the fan game that they put together. It was pretty cool. I liked it. And it was all around okay. I mean, he premise around, he died, you know, it's do weird shit happens. Like it, it was fairly well written for a poke pasta. I had like no complaints. I, I listened to it and I'm like, I was solid, and that's why it's kinda like almost in the dead middle on this list, because it was it was great, but it was there was nothing that made it kind of stand out. But moving in further down the list, I believe we're at number five. I really hope we are. <laughs> is uh this four Fortune.gd. I I love this. I just plain flat out love it. And um, oh, when I when I heard it, I just had to look into it. It was one of those things that you listen to and you're just like, you know, what if it is true? So you, so you look into it. And I, I did in a, a Poke Pasta Marathon, second one I think. I do have it as I think the opening story. And uh, I actually have the supposed real footage of it. So if that interests you yet? I uh, terrible. And uh, coming in at number four. Four. Coming in at number four is Hypno's Lullaby. Um. This thing on the table, it's probably annoying. It's uh, they have those little bike. She's pedo, pedo Pokemon. Yeah, pedo Pokemon. It's the pedophile Pokemon of the realm, I guess. And the uh, the, the lullaby is messed up to say the least. Say the least, like it's bad. So it's. It's definitely something you should check out. It's definitely something you need to if you haven't. Like, anyone who likes creepypastas in the slightest has probably heard Hypnos Lullaby. If not, it's everywhere. So, just hop on that. Number three, you know? Oh, why terrible? Well, whatever. Number... Basically, these three, I would like to say they're a tie for first place, but I... Th these last three, the You know, they're falling in their places only by a grain, okay? These are all, like, the cream of the crop, in my opinion. But coming in at number three is, like, the Viridian City Construction Project. Well written and, and used the Pokemon plotline to its advantage. It took facts from the game and said this is why that happened and made it scarier than hell. And it seemed legit and I narrated it in the Pokepasta Marathon. Yeah, I'm just I'm gonna have that up and it's gonna be in the description. So like you could listen to these if you haven't yet. They're they're amazing. And uh, yeah, that, that's all I gotta say about it. It's great because I don't wanna spoil anything because it's just that good, you know? And, uh... Number two, please be number two. Yeah, number two. Okay, number two is the origin. Now, the title it could it doesn't even need to be a Pokepasta. It could be anything, but it's a uh, it's it's more the using the facts from the game to actually benefit the story. And it was it it was about missing no, and it was about how Professor Oak found it in his early research, and he was developing, and then you know how uh, Red you know talked about Gary's Radicate dying, and it was. <laughs> 
honestly mind blowing. And it was short, it was sweet. It was, I narrated it and it was like four minutes. It was, it's a quick read and it's entertaining. Like, this is beautiful, no complaints. Coming in at number one. Um, this might get controversy because the writing on it, I don't think is the best, um, but it's gotta be Strangled Dragon because one, it's got the bonus of being like one of the first Pokemon stories to scare me. So it's got that going for it. Um, it has an easily attachable character like Pikachu, except that this is like a lot, you know, it's like a, for some reason I got more attached to Steven. Because he, he, he seemed like such a cool guy and all of a sudden, pff, shit, it's the fan. I'm trying to do this without giving stuff away, but it's, uh, he, uh, how do I put this? He fucked up, um, doing a word game. The, watch it now, um, that's all I got. <laughs> oh gosh, well that's... That's all I have for you, I guess. Um, did, did, what do you think of my opinion? Did, does it suck? Does it, is it great? I don't know, just, just let me know. Just, just let me know. Comments, just, please. Please. And, uh, if you haven't watched any of the stuff that I was trying to mention, you should, should do that, um, now. I'm pressuring you. You need to, you will. No, you will. Click on a link right now. Now. I'll wait, dude. I'll, I'll wait. I'll, I'll, I'll wait till this video's over. You don't even know. Okay, seriously. <sighs> really? Just. Just, you know. I'm doing this because I care. I'm waiting it out for you to click on something because I care, and I want you to be entertained. You know, I want. If you're procrastinating, just do it some more. I give you permission. You can tell your professor, or teacher, or your boss, just to screw off for a second. Just, just watch my content. Yeah, this is this is getting old. This is getting old really quickly. You need to you need to do something instead of hearing my beautiful voice. Really, really, you, uh, are you just bored or something? Are you legit, like, still here? Because you're, like, I have nothing else to say. I don't, why am I still recording? I don't even know why I'm still recording. I said, I said what I had to say. You can happily go. Don't go. I mean, go. But go on some of my more stuff. That, yeah, that wasn't even grammatically correct. Hmm. What if I was, like... I, don't know. I just thought if I was a rainbow turkey flying, that would be pretty cool. We got poop candy canes. Um, where do they come from? Rainbow turkeys. You guys are boring. You guys aren't even replying to me. You know how that makes me feel? Well. Frickin' props to you if you watch this all the way through. I'm gonna get off. And you heard my weird rant about turkeys. Oh, not even a rant. Why did I say rant? I'm, I'm gonna go. Thank you for making it th through this. And, uh, yeah, just, uh, watch something if you haven't. Okay. Here, do we got a deal? Can you promise me? Look me, look me in the screen. Look me in the screen. Look at your screen and promise me you will click on something after this. That's one of my videos, because that would be pretty nice of you. Alright, at least do something nice on this one. Did you promise yet? I'm gonna trust that you promised. I'm trusting you. This is this is all it is. This is a trust thing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get off now, but I'm trusting you. Okay? Okay, goodbye.